Hey guys, welcome to part three of the Senate campaign. My second one, my second Let's Play. Um, last time, we... Oh my god, I'm still lagging. Last time, last time, we won a battle over here against the Skippy Eye. See? Say the famous battle right here. It was, um, wow, I am lagging. Um... We uh, took Syracuse, and we built up our economy. So let's continue our Ready conquest of Sicily. Set sail. And we'll begin by building more units. We're training right here. I think the lag finally stopped. Great. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Marriage. Did you love that sound? Okay, well... I never told them I'm recording. Yeek. Yeah, you guys see all that, right? Say hi. Say hi, Fanna. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Come on. Come on, do it. Say hi. <laughs> okay. That was fun, Fanna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's Fennis, he's one of our council members, but um, he said he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to be an emperor someday, he, he, he kind of doesn't feel like being a leader anymore in the clan, so I'm going to demote him to a uh, praetor, because there can only be two counselors, and the people vote between the two counselors on uh, when the emperor, here's how it works, when the emperor retires, or leaves the clan or something, like, I'll be retiring. I'll be stepping down as Emperor because I'll still be in the clan. I'll just be in boot camp. So, when I retire or step down, the people choose in the clan, the people vote between the two council members to be the next Emperor. And if that, if that council, if you're the council member and you get picked, then that means you choose, and he has to be a Praetor, you, you choose a Praetor in the clan to pick your, um, to refill your counselor spot. And don't, Emperor. like, be, don't, like, pick your friend because you like him or something. Y you have to, and, like I said, I, I'm doing this to, I'm doing this for the clan, to fix the clan, to rebuild it. I, I'm doing, I love this clan, I'm doing it for the clan. I'm not, like, I have a f friend I know in real life in the clan, and I, I'm probably not gonna make him counselor because he's, not very active when it comes to Total War games. So, please pick. Please. Like, future... If you guys see this, future counselors, future emperors of, of Warriors of Troy, future members, please choose your leaders wisely. So, because I'm doing all this for the clan. I mean, like I, I, like I said before, I'm, I don't care if I come back from boot camp. I don't care if I'm not emperor anymore. I just... Like, I'll be happy with the Praetor. I just want to be in an active clan. So please, don't screw this up. Um, first, we have to get active members and all that stuff. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to build it back up. So this clan will be good for the future. Um, I hate when people die. So, what's going on? We're uh, taking Sicily, right? Yeah, we're taking Sicily. Let's end the turn. Is that that? Is that their last army? Like, I mean, like real army, like massive army. It's in the city. Libium, Libium, Libium. Sana. 
Faction destroyed already? Damn. Sorry, Thrace. Well, when I was playing as the Macedonians, I took Thrace out pretty quickly. Yeah, see, there you go. That's how you make a profit. Just keep building on, um, keep building economic buildings, fir buildings first. Uh, try not to build a, an army too big. And then, um, nice. And then you'll, uh, be the richest faction in the world. Okay, let's get some cavalry. I, I'm, I'm really good with my cav in this game. Really good cavalry. Some Kiev. And get some Kiev. Actually, I might as well get some. There we go. Yeah, but now my uh, I'm getting a large income. I can start building more. Building more um, uh, army. Building an army and building things like uh, a barracks. You know, actually, in this case, I'm going to do a stronger wall. But, uh... I, I can build things that aren't related to my profit, to my income, because I have the money to do it. I'll lose money, I'll start losing profit, but then, after I've already advanced my, uh, my cities, advanced my culture, advanced my army... Um, then I could start building more economic buildings, get more money, you know, uh, and, and go a few turns without building anything to, um, to kind of save up my money. Uh, and then I'll get even more money and I make even a larger profit. And then eventually my army would get too big, so I have to expand. That's what I did here my army was getting too big for my uh, upkeep so I went and I expanded now I have a larger upkeep uh, that that's how you play the game that's how it works it's really simple if you think about it then again Rome Total War it does have a very easy campaign because it's older there's a lot less options but it's the same thing in uh in medieval you know just I'm actually better at it at medieval than in this but uh just build farms, build trade markets, um, actually use your diplomats and get trade, uh, trading rights, and, like, try to stay on the good side of most factions. I know in Rome, the computers kind of randomly attack you for no reason, they just kind of act on their own, act randomly, but... Not in medieval. Medieval, it's different. Medieval, that that thinks more. It's a little random, but it think it thinks more and actually has like a love-hate relationships between uh, love or hate relationships between uh, other factions around you. So if you're playing medieval, try to stay on the good side of some factions. Even give them some money if you can, so they don't attack you. And just spend the entire time since you're on the good side of all the factions. Just spend the entire time. Uh, building up your uh, your cities and economy and then you'll uh, what am I doing here practice range then you'll um, be very a very strong country then you can go to war because like I said you have to expand once all the rebel cities are taken I mean you have to expand somewhere and if you're a Christian nation I recommend you expand in a Islam, Islamic nation. Like if you're Spain, expand over here and stuff. You know France doesn't like you. So back to Rome Total War, the game we're actually playing. Um, yeah, I feel like their entire force is on Sicily. So if I take Sicily out now, then I'm free to take Rome. And if I take Rome, then I don't know, it just seems appropriate that a Rome has Rome. Well, that I have Rome playing Rome for Rome. Rome. Let's start over. Hi, I'm Joe. So... 
What are we doing here? Farm. Barracks. Actually, let me... What's our income look like? Yeah, it's still really good. We have a... We're in a very good position right now. I could, I could, I could handle, I can handle these, this force with, with this right here. No problem. Huh? I was thinking about um, sending some reinforcements over from Carthage, but I can do it. Syracuse is a very, well, early in the game is a very, very well defended city, so I should be able to hold it if they attack at least, which it looks like they're not because they're stupid. Ready to sail! Prepare for battle! Take out the, their naval force. A lot of people underestimate how important uh, your navy is in the game, but it's really, really important because if they blockade your, your ports, you're not getting any, uh, like, uh, why does it do that? You're not um, gaining any profit from it. So. You're, you'll be losing money, and you also uh, you can't transport your your men back and forth between between uh, islands or continents. Even, um, I mean, I guess you could go all the way around from Rome, go through Spain, through Germany, through Greece, through through Russia, through Turkey, through Egypt, uh, through Libya, and then make my way up to Rome or uh, Carthage. <laughs> but I think we can all agree it's a lot easier to. Build a boat. <laughs> so, uh, a little tip work on your navy. In fact, I'm gonna do that now because I've been underestimating it. I underestimate it myself all the time. I'm, I hate myself. I'm so stupid, you know. I'm like, duh, duh, duh. Um, it's very important. Okay, what do we got? What's our income look like? Beautiful income. Carthage grows. Perfect. Let's get three more. One more. Three more. See, I have the money to waste my money on. Uh, to, to, I, like, I, I have the money to waste on, on troops now and building up a large army and stuff because... My economy is through the roof. So, but soon, eventually, it's going to be too much, and I'm going to start losing money, and that's when I have to expand and start building more profit buildings. How much time's left? It's going to be another half-hour video, by the way, guys. I just um, I want to do something. I don't want to just talk about how to play a campaign. I actually want to play the campaign with you guys. Uh, the reason why I'm explaining so much too is because my friends keep on asking me how to how to play and stuff. Like, how do you like take take over the entire map? And I'm, I explain it to them. Then I go, you know what? Just watch my videos. I explain it on those. So, now, what do we got here? Okay. 
I think that that should be enough cavalry for me. I mean, I. Uh, I'll use one more because I, I I use my cavalry a lot. That should be upgrading. What do we got building over here? Nothing. That's not good. Do practice range. Uh, start building my navy here. All right. See, now I'm losing money. Uh, it could be because I'm building a lot, it could be just because my upkeep is getting too big, but either way, I should start expanding now. Sir! Should take these guys out. I'll leave my mercenaries in there. Except for these two. Take Sir. those two. Prepare for battle. Victory! Orders. Orders. Prepare for battle. Besieging Sir. Okay, and they're sir. probably going to attack me, which I will fight the battle. So. Settlement under siege, sir. I use assassins a lot too. Okay, and since I have light cavalry, it's gonna be so much easier for me to uh, to one fight the battle and actually do my strategies. I do two to run them down and just like mop up the field. I like that quote. <laughs> Do not fear our enemies today. The Skippy Eye are Roman. Units, okay, let's get the high ground. I mean, they are probably gonna farm up over here anyway, because they always start in the high ground with their the computers. Not always, most of the time, I should say. Dude, I love it. My mouse is acting up. This is awesome. Cool. Actually, I'll have you guys go right here. The enemy have brought up reinforcements in a pathetic oh, attempt to beautiful. save themselves. Love how they set themselves up. Okay, so we just wait for them. I'm gonna check out their army here. See what they got. Wow. Okay, so I can take those guys out right now. They're two missile units in light cavalry. 
That's pathetic. <laughs> Pursue them and drive them from uh, the battlefield. So easy. Did I lose anyone in that? Let's see one, two, three, four. And I don't really care if Light Cavalry gets away from me because Light Cavalry is no threat to me the way how... Like, I'm really aggressive with Cavalry and the way how I use it, it's... Cav uh, enemy Cav, especially Light Cav, isn't really a threat with me because I'm always prepared to take on their Cavalry. I mean, the AI thinks in this game. Just not very good. Love slingers. They have so much damage. For a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Oh, yes. This is why I like Light Cavalry. They're faster than heavy. They should be. Why are they not catching up? Whatever. Come on! 
or stop, whatever. I didn't fight this battle very well. I'm sorry. Hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. See what happens. The enemy army is in flight. Pursue them and drive them from the. Okay, are they gonna kill them all? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Battlefield. Oh yeah, because the idiots are running the other way. Such a victory. The day I, I fought this battle ours. poorly. Whatever. That was still like their entire army for the city, so <sighs> that was still like their entire army for that city. Seeing that movie today, what's it called with the uh, where everything is legal and um, everything is legal for one for was it 12 hours? Oof, I would love to fight this battle, but there's only there's only uh, like a minute left, so I'm gonna end it here. Oh, victory music, get the hat. I'll end the video here. And we'll come back and we'll kill the Scipio. Yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, subscribe. Uh, if you um, want to join the clan, my, my Total War clan, it's a gaming community. Total War community, I should say. Uh, add me on Steam, JD, USMCJD. And.